welcome and thank you for watching the next Android tutorial in this series guys definitely appreciate you subscribing and commenting and giving thumbs up and sharing these videos with uh, all your cats alright so for today's tutorial what we're gonna be working with is saving to the SD card so obviously we have a new button within our menu layout um, and to make it simple for you guys I've already set up the activity save to SD and also a new layout also called save to SD both of those are available on our website, mybringback.com. So just go there, mybringback.com, tutorials, and then the courses under the intermediate series. That's where the tutorial 14 should be. Right now, I still need to do some work. Like there's some random stuff in here. It should be on the second page. And just go to the 14th tutorial and ba bam! Right there is your code. Uh, we got the XML layout for you. Again, this is called save2sd.xml and save to sd.java this is our activity setup it just sets up all the references kind of a base for you guys to work off because this is boring stuff the other thing that we have to do is we have to go into our main or I'm sorry our menu.java class we need to add this new string to our array of activities called save to sd all uppercase and then in the manifest you want to go over there create a new activity nothing new again uh, save to sd that's the class name and then with the reference or the identifier of our activity as save to SD all uppercase again that's what we threw in the string array okay pretty easy the last thing that you have to do is go into your menu XML add a new button call it save to SD basically copy one of these buttons put in put it as the next button with the reference of B4 and you should be good to go and if you guys can't figure that out don't worry about it I mean we got a completed file you can download on mybringback.com as well. So let's jump into the tutorial right meow and jump over to our save.sd, uh, save2sd.java. And what this class is gonna do is save some data to the SD card. That's called external storage. And over here you can see some of the requests that I've gotten for the Android 2.0 series uh, working with RSS feed, save a picture, save a sound to the SD card, web services, scraping data, remote databases. That's the kind of stuff we're getting into. So what we're going to do with this activity is save a photo and save a sound within the SD card. Okay, And in order to do that, we need to check if there's an SD card available on the device, if there's external storage that we can save to. And if there is, the next thing we have to do is be like, can we write to it? Can we write to that external storage or the SD card? And if we can do both of those things, we're going to save a picture and a, and a sound. So let's jump into it. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is set up our permissions for our Android uh, activity. We do that within our manifest. So go ahead and open the manifest down here under the permissions tab. This is where the magic happens. We need to add a new uses permission. And we're going to say external. Ah, uh, I thought I was going to pull it up for me. Come on work alright well it's called external something see I don't even remember half the stuff I do um, it's not even called external it's called like uh, write external storage alright so that's one permission we need to add that way we can write to the SD card but eventually we're gonna read the information as well so we're gonna throw in that permission as well called read man what is wrong with this thing I don't know. Anyways, uh, there's another permission called read external data. Never mind, screw that permission. I believe if we have the right to external data, we can also read to it. It only makes sense if that's the case. So let's delete uh, that guy. Um, all right, so we have this new permission. We're able to write to the external data. Now we have to check if there is an SD card or if there's external data or storage that we can save data to. Um, so how we do that is within our either on create method or uh, whatever we're going to create new booleans okay so these are going to be boolean values one is going to be like is SD uh, available or something uh, whatever you guys want to label these as and then is SD writable okay so two new boolean values we might want to set these both equal to be false to start out with because we don't want to set them true when they aren't true. Alright, so now we have two new boolean values. 
what we want in order to write data to the SD card is to turn both these Boolean values and to be true because then the SD card is available and it's writable so we're able to make magic happen. All right, so let's go into our onCreate method. This is generally where everything happens for most applications, uh, just the setup. And we're just gonna create a new method called check SD uh, stuff. I mean, you don't have to, but I like to be specific, you know, check SD stuff makes sense. Then this method, we're gonna either set the Boolean values to true, or if we aren't able to do those things, we're just gonna set them to false as they are now. So the first thing that we need to do is set up a new string state, or string called state, and what the string's gonna do is it's gonna be the value of the SD card. So that's gonna be like, hey, can we write to this? Yeah. Um, hey, can we read to this? Yes, you can read to it, but you can't write to it or stuff like that, okay? It's gonna be the state of the SD card. And how we do that is we, we, blah, 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 blah. we refer to the environment class and then we just say get external storage state. Now isn't that cake? That is, that's simple. That returns the state of, of the SD card like I mentioned. The next thing that we have to do is create some if statements. So let's just create an if and we're gonna say if environment again that's kind of the environment of the applicate or the device that we're working with dot media and we have a different different media function so the first one is media mounted and as you can see here this returns whether the media mounted is present and mounted at the mount point with read write access so that makes a lot of sense all that's saying is is there an SD card mounted or is it plugged in now if this is uh, basically true, or if this is the same as whatever our state of our SD card is, that means our application uh, does have an SD card and we can write to our SD card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare two different strings. So we're gonna use the compare or uh, the equals. This is how you compare two different strings. Uh, equals the value of state. Because again, we already got the state of the SD card now we're just checking, checking if that's the same as it being mounted. If that is the case, we can write to the SD card, which we'll get into the next tutorial. This one's again, just kind of the basic setup. Else what we're gonna do is check for another environment dot media mounted read only. So sometimes the external storage is like, all right, you can access my files, bro. Just check it out. But just leave everything as is, don't touch it, all right? You can read it, but just don't touch it. So that's kind of what the read-only state is. We aren't able to write to the SD card, but we can check out other files, we can read them, use them for application. So it's kind of cool, but it's not complete freedom like we want. So if that's the state, um, or if that's equal to our state object, again, our string, we can read, okay? So read-only here. And lastly, if neither of those are the case, we're just gonna create an else statement. And this is gonna be like, uh, uh oh, I forgot the if here. So um, there we go. So that's kind of how our SD activity works. Anytime we're trying to save to the SD, again, we have to check if the SD is available. Oh yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our Boolean values again. So if the write is available, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say is SD card, oops. Available. We're gonna set this equal to be true, or booyah if we could, but uh, we're just gonna set it to be true. Or SD, and then writable, we're also gonna set that equal to be true. And then we're gonna copy these guys, read only. Uh, we're gonna just change the writable to be false because we can't write to it still. And lastly, the uh-oh, this is like both false. Just bad, bad stuff. All right, so that's kind of how it works. Again, we have some Boolean values and the magic basically comes from this state string here or the environment get external state. And then all we're doing is comparing what kind of state our SD card is for the device or the external data. And if it's equal to be media mounted of the environment, that means we can read and write. We can do everything pretty much with the SD card. But if it's equal to only read, uh, then we can, again, read from the SD card, but we can't write to it. And if we get the uh-oh or like none of these are the case, we just can't do anything. They either like threw their SD card in the toilet or maybe their phone is plugged into their computer and they're developing for it and that will not allow the SD card to work. 
So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. We got the setup for SD card. In the next tutorial, again, we're going to save this photo and the, save this sound. Uh, so check it out. Thanks again, guys. Make sure you subscribe and check us out on G Plus as well. My G Plus is in the description. Also, you can check out Jake's G Plus. He does the iOS stuff. Uh, thanks again, guys, and we'll catch you later.